I am exhausted. I haven't gotten anything done all day. I have to squat and I don't think I've ever not wanted to work out this much in my life. On the bright side though, I went into GNC the other day, which I never do. I never buy anything on GNC or at GNC, but I was desperate for a new pre-workout and this stuff actually rocks. Like it's probably the best pre-workout I've ever used because it's aminos and caffeine. Here we go. We can look at kind of like the stats here. And it was like pretty cheap. It was only 20 bucks for 30 servings, which is not terrible. So I am satisfied. Highly recommend watermelon flavor. Check it out. Wednesday, like 5.30 p.m., and I just want to get real for a second. Remember the other day how I said I really didn't want to lift? Well, I went anyways, and I felt terrible. I was exhausted. I just, like, wasn't my mind, my body, nothing was in it. And I went, and I squatted anyways, and my joints weren't feeling good either. But, you know, I wasn't making excuses, so I stuck to what I'd planned to do. Um, I wanted to do four sets of seven or eight reps with 135 squats. And on my fourth set, I got really tired and I forgot to breathe right and I lost my balance and I racked myself for the first time in like years. And guess what? Power racks exist for a reason. I was fine. It was just my ego that hurt. Like I sometimes don't push myself hard enough because I'm so afraid to fail and no one cared. Genuinely no one cared. So it's just, I guess, a learning experience. Like, it doesn't hurt to push yourself because I went and I tried it and I definitely know that I did my best because I went to a failure. So, like, just because I was having a bad day doesn't mean that I'm, like, bad at lifting or I'm weak or anything. Everyone has off days and it is okay that I wrecked myself because I lived. So, made a loud noise. That was really the extent of it. No one cared. So, the moral of the story is that pushing yourself is a good thing and then if you're not pushing yourself, like, what are you even doing, honestly? If it doesn't scare you, is it worth doing? Are you going to improve from it? Like, I feel that I improve more from my failures than my successes. So it's not like I looked back on that workout and I was like, oh, I fell. Like, I mean, I didn't even fall. I sat down and I didn't stand back up. But it's like, I don't look back on it. And it's like, I didn't complete that final rep. I feel bad about myself. I shouldn't have gone to the gym. No, like... I'm proud of myself that I went and I pushed myself and I clearly was pushing myself because I went to a failure. So, good job me. What's raining? Look who came to visit. <laughs> Get the Snickers immediately. Hey, transplant the tree that's in the middle of my front lawn. Yep. And she said you need to do it before the fish. Can't remember the last time I went without you
How's that climb going, Kelly? I was thinking you want to make that, that little half. <laughs> Tonight I learned that bouldering is scary, but I look like Spider-Man when I fall. <laughs> lifting and it will always be my first love really I also enjoy doing other like fitnessy things because that's just what I like to do for fun because I'm weird so I've been really into yoga lately like I've said before I get really bad anxiety and yoga helps me to keep that in check it's something that I've known to help me for a long time but it can tend to be kind of expensive to do if you buy like a membership um, to like a yoga place. So I need to bite the bullet and do that eventually. But while I'm at school, classes are free here, which we love. So I've been going pretty much every week, every Wednesday. Um, I'd like to even go more than once a week because it not only helps me mentally, but it also helps me stretch because a lot of the time I neglect rolling, stretching, recovery. So great for recovery too. Um, but yeah, so I've been loving doing yoga and then on Monday, I had the opportunity to go rock climbing with my school's outing club, which was great because it was paid for. So like normally $25 to go and I got to go for free. But um, I'd been really wanting to go with them for a while and made excuses. And finally I was like, you know what? Like I'm gonna go, it's gonna be great. So I ended up going with them. It was like, I don't know, 45 minutes away from school and it was so much fun. I took to it even more quickly than I thought I would, which was great. They had like two options. You could either do the rock climbing walls, the normal ones, or you could do this thing called bouldering, which is essentially, they're like smaller, not as high walls that you don't need to like harness, like hook up to. And so when you fall, you just, you fall, but the mat's nice and soft. So I wanted to try that. And even though I was afraid, I pushed myself and did it and I actually made it to the top. So like, had a really good time doing that and I was sore the next day, believe it or not. So moral of the story is you find what kind of fitness you like to do and you do it. It doesn't matter if it's lifting, it's anything that, you know, keeps your mind and your body in shape and makes you happy. So even though I love to lift, sometimes I like to do other things too. And I'm really happy that I had the opportunity to both rock climb and do yoga this week. And so I'm a happy camper. Side note, this is my boyfriend's little brother Ryan's old sweatshirt because he gives me all his old clothes. So shout out Ryan. Thank you for the OG Gymshark sweatshirt. I love it very much and I wear it all the time, like all of your clothes, it's fine. Okay, so to recap, push yourself. It's okay to fail. You'll grow from failure. And I don't know what else I talked about. I talked about something else. Oh, the other thing I talked about is that Doing alternative types of fitness is good too. So do what makes you happy, find what keeps you healthy, and keep doing it. Doesn't matter if it's lifting, if it's yoga, if it's rock climbing, if it's all of the above. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and maybe learned something new. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.